It's a discreet and illicit type of trade that costs Kenya at least 55 billion shillings every year, according to the 2015 Illicit Financial Flows Report. Fraudsters are rerouting international and domestic calls to devices known as SIM boxes. Each of these illegal devices holds hundreds of SIM cards and facilitates numerous simultaneous calls via the internet. To rope in consumers, the SIM box operators offer lower calling rates than those offered domestically. Those of you maybe who have called Kenya from outside the country, you might have found that the person you have called cannot identify your number from the person who is just using a Kenyan number in a foreign country. What illegal telcos pocket is the difference between the local calling rates and that of international termination calls. All this without the knowledge of the mobile service provider or the consumer. You can imagine if somebody has a thousand lines, um, he can be able to transfer 10 million, which really uh, could be a very uh, good avenue for money laundering in the country. Police are holding one suspect who was found in this Lavington house Wednesday with several SIM boxes and 5,827 SIM cards. There were slightly over 3,000 Telcom Orange SIM cards, nearly 2,700 Airtel SIM cards, 52 U-branded SIM cards and 80 Safaricom SIM cards. The arrest has now raised questions over the effectiveness of SIM card registration registration rules introduced in 2012. The telecom industry regulator is now considering a change of tact. We are even requiring uh, the mobile operators to ensure that they also have physical uh, registration papers with them with regard to whoever has been able to buy SIM cards from them. Mobile phone service providers in the country will also be required to procure SIM box detection tools and disconnect any SIM cards found to be suspicious. Bella Genga, Citizen Live at 9.